on her back. Um, Maddie. So yeah, that's really all. I'm not gonna be talking that much this stream. Sorry about my voice. Really just woke up. I'm trying to get this stream over with. About an hour. I mean, we're gonna do one game. That's all. I'm gonna play for a couple games. Probably offline. Said our goal comes with higher rewards. Alright, I'm gonna do the weekly training. Hold up, guys! I just stepped on a controller while doing some. There you go. Sorry. I'm trying to get a goal. Get out of here. Oh no, get him, get him. Come on, how am I supposed to get a tackle if they get him right away? That makes no sense. Oh wow, no, oh wow, oh wow. I'm not gonna do that again. Get out of here. No, not today. I don't know where he uh he went on the left side and where I'm at. Oh no, he oh no, uh Where every time they get the ball, I don't see him coming. I need to watch the ball. All right, it's game time uh, here, man. Bro, how am I supposed to get an tackle if these dudes get him right away? If I rush in, he gonna get right past me. See, look at that, bro. They doing the routes where I can't get them, bro.
forget it, man. This is gonna take that long for me to get a tackle because they doing the stupidest plays of all time. I'm gonna go ahead and sell that, give me some 1000 XP. I don't care. Uh, there you go. The more red rose, max with the rose gold. Whoever counted me out, they can't count. Uh, uh, tell me something I don't know. What? Tell me something I don't know. What? Tell me something I don't know. Like when it drop home, came in the choke code. Tell me something I don't know. What? Tell me something. And let's get started. What? Tell me something I don't know. Like when it drop home, came in the choke code. They call a podcast poppy. King goes, I see they trying to copy. Diamonds in the chain, plus down wrists. And you ain't never seen no like this. What? Tell me something I don't know. What? Tell me something I don't know. What? Tell me something I don't know. Like when it drop home, gave me the choke code. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Oh, I'm gonna upgrade the XP a little. I'm not gonna upgrade it to like 500. I'm gonna upgrade it a little. I wanna only get be like getting 50 XP a game. I'm gonna get like 200. Let's go. You gonna play a couple games this way? Let's get started. The oldest rivalry in the NFL on the first. He already injured. I wonder how to change this camera angle. Forgot how to change the camera. I went back to what I just wanted to. Just a yard here, second and nine from the 26. They run play action for Howard. Now Trubisky. It's his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really nice gain of 25 yards. 
And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical That's passing That's why I do it, man. Really I don't like doing those. Did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Did he catch Great that? to get the game going. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And as a first rounder, a lot of eyes on him, a lot of expectations. And he has to play well in his rookie year. Those days of coddling guys and bringing them along slowly, those days are long gone. When you're drafted in the first round, they expect you to play right away. And the community's eyes and fan base, they'll be on you the entire way. And you take a look at this draft class from a seat, and he takes this one in the Bears touchdown. Jordan Howard, 49. We ain't getting no touchdowns. That's how we win on offense. I really need to get taken. We need to get this touchdown. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Mike Daniels makes the tackle. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just holding straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, and it's a fumble, and the Packers pick it up. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Come on, touchdown. No touchdown, bro. Really getting mad, bro. This offense is bad. Not enough to save their coaching staff. So in comes 40-year-old Matt Nagy. He's the new head coach and seems to be bringing a new optimism with him. Trying to get it to Robinson. It's intercepted. Picked up by the rookie corner, Jair Alexander. And he will take it across the field and down to the 45. They really need to get a touchdown, bro. I didn't even get it. Thank you, finally. Took them forever just to get one touch now. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive. After All right, I got to put on this player lock helm, bro. That helm was way better. No, not volume. second down and that was a good run this was only one of nine guys to go over a thousand yards in 2017 and i think you can't let him run wild here what do you think 100 yards the measuring stick always that is the threshold you want to keep him under that if you want to play good defense and yeah, nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Dancing to his left. He can run for it. And he How did I just miss that, bro? Look at this. Big game, but How did I just miss that? Be I'm mad, bro. I'm big mad. I just really just missed that, bro. If you ever miss that, you won't be salty because that would have been an easy fumble. So would have hit stick. Hail Mary. Already know. Yeah, nowadays the kickoff team, no more running starts. Yeah, no, don't try us. Don't try me. I could tell that Joe was a Hail Mary from the beginning. Another Hail Mary. Remember those wedges that we used to say where guys were formed together, two or three guys? No more of those. So it'd be like more man on man, one on one blocking. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Perry leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. 
Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust oh, no. for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure Oh no, we caught the wrong play big time. That maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you get him. The biggest Good D. 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 Oh, I'm getting a return finally. But let's face it, he puts defense in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs. Because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding Oh wow. I didn't get no yards. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44. The Bears offense now. They keep going. Oh, because they not getting no yards. Maybe losing just a little bit of the edge after back to back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there? Another hell no. For something that could put your team in some jeopardy. Hey. This is Howard on second down. And he'll get this hey. across the 20, but only up. Hey, what? What happened? I just heard a hey. About the 21. The Bears on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and nine. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We remind you that coming Another up. Another Mary. Half, we'll hand things off to been standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from early. Yeah. Play what? Great blocking nearly sprung in there. 28 yard return. And it'll be Packer foot. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. A great starting spot. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Ta-da. Interesting partner that most defenses try and guard the 35 yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays about a 52 yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're gonna guard Nothing. it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. No, I'm happy. I'm playing 2K19 after this. Their fortune here on second and 13. Out of the gun, Trubisky. Now Trubisky lost the football. And this is going to be Packer football. <clears throat> and now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have well, how did I miss that tackle? I really missed that tackle. That's on me. And, to come away with nothing, and I love, I love my man. man. I, got, I love my man. Open. We'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Packers pick it up. And they have possession. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And where the ball is now, you got the field goal pretty much in the bag. Now do you try for the end zone a couple of times? I don't think there's any question about it. You might get a gift of six points rather than the three that you just noted that you feel like you already have. Be aggressive, go after it, and try and get those points. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Second down, here's Trubisky. Steps away, and he is gonna go down. He could have passed it to dude. I was trying to leave him open so I can get an interception. 
So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? And I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. And he'll work this one up to get it out of the Josh Jones in on the stop. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Play action. It's Trubisky. And it's complete. The tight end, Deion Sims. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They go play action here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. Who left the wide open, like, bro? Taylor Gabriel, 56 yards. Who left him wide open? Now we down. Now we up. That's the wrong play. On oh, first wow, and nice. ten, it's Trubisky. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Burton. And down he'll go at the 25. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean mm -hmm. by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get right. at least two mm -hmm. first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. Mm -hmm. On second down, Trubisky. Mm -hmm. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a We need to down. stop. Not a big window to throw. Pick Coverage anything. wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here's Trubisky to throw. That was oh, me, but I'm a statistic, bro. Oh, I hate this. Why I'm, I'm not good at defense, and then also I'm great at offense. I it all came together there in breaking route. I could be good at defense if I can, if I try. Right I'm about to start doing. It's Bears football Only a 70. I can't even look at his feet. Well, I do only got 60 catches. We'll find out as we come up on a first and 10. Again, it's Trubisky. Dumps that off to his running back, Jordan Howard. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll be second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. Dang it. Yeah, he if he didn't throw it out, I would have really picked that jump ball. And it's third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it. Don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute ball. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. He leaves this one for Howard. And shutting him off. She says I'm down. The 13 yards and I ain't getting no XP first. for that. Like, but the other dudes get XP, bro. Back. Like, I'm the one who hit him towards the sideline, and then the teammate hit him out. Like, bro. And I get no XP for that. Because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And down. Inside the 15 he goes. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards. We need to put a QB spy on this dude. All right, partner. I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback. But oh, no, he lost the football. Oh, 
What was going on? Like everybody's falling off on each other. Look at this. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover. All right, but pick, pick. We need a pick. We need a pick six option. That's what I really think we need. They'll run it now out of the gun. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. Pick six, please, or just need. a pick. It's an eight-yard gain, and now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. They ain't got nothing in this game. Nothing. This a big but play for 28 both sides. Yards. What will we see here? Third and four. They go with Howard again. What do you want? What, what was that? Oh, they're going for it. They're going for it. Take up the space and let the linebackers run free. They can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Now it's Trubisky. That's going to be get that dude. Get him. No, not today. He's able to pick up the first before he's brought down. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. I think I'm gonna make another one because mine is not meant for catching. I want to make one that's good for good at catching. I usually like getting defense first because if I want to make sure that they don't get a touchdown first, because we then we get it in the other. I don't know. I just like getting defense first. What if I get offense? I get offense. Okay. Yes. You're locked into the NFL on Yeah. This one up to the 26. What's up? The tackle will be None. To Jake Ryan. 
playing Madden. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Over the middle here to Rudolph. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was. The down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing. Down throw for Cousins. Open here, Adam they got me. I didn't know what I didn't know where to go. I thought he was gonna go where the other dude was going. If you're running out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. And he's able to take this one up to the That's the first yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more say, later on. The numbers for Jigs from mm -hmm. a week ago. Four catches, 55 yards. That was a nice job there pulling that one in. Now, this is an offense that will certainly spread the ball around a bit. And this is a guy that defenses had better focus on. Second down, Cousins. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So a decent game, still but second or not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Cousins now on second down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. And this is going to be Packer football. There you go. That's two. Comes Minnesota. Two points. I think we got it. Six points. Like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find the matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. <laughs> On second down, Cook. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative. But you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and then think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense back will crash it and down. He literally could have threw it to my lead. Not even kidding. So my dude is big wide open. Right now, this unit, Two of them, man. The he does not know how to kick. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. 
They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple Third of first quarterback down. Quarterback's not throwing. He can't kick. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Second down, Cousins again. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. And it's third down. Earlier in the quarter when the defense was They're coming us, Mark, because they're running back was wide open. Things up, take some shots downfield. Didn't work there, but they did. Yeah, I'm not going to change my tune now. I still think it's the wrong play because when you take those shots downfield, you open the eyes of the defense to what you could do to them. And that Watch this go out. For you offensively. And what did we talk about? Oh, wow. Uh, like game? I said. Like I said. Chains, pick up first down. He can't so kick. Far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that can Really get on my nerves. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. <sighs> you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen. There's some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now a second down throw for Cousins. And he'll find Thielen on the right side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. First down, here's Cousins. Oh, no, he's got Treadwell. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. The Vikings in the hurry up. They're hustling up to the line. From the gun, here's Cousins. And this is going to be incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Cousins. And the third down pass falls incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact. Oh, 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 no. That'll go in the books as just a 16-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first. Minnesota. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar. It's just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Have a muddle in the middle of the field. Where you make a play the Come on. Right Where do you think you're going? Now well, the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On third down, Cousins finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44 yard line. Here's Ryan Quigley now. As he's the injury is QB. Here today. This is taken at the 18. All oh, able to avoid him. Well, pretty woeful there. Just 23 yards on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over.
It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession <laughs> of the second half. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot oh, of questions. Oh, I to get that saying? pick. What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a I'm going to go with that play again. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. More in the second. Play action now, Cousins. He's got the connection over Sit the digs. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. I'm not doing one of those. Cousins now 9 of 17 through the year. Not a great percentage, but it is first and 10. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Again, it's Murray. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of one, and they're going to face a third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Cousins now able to shake him up, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. Nick Perry able to track him down for a loss of 13, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Ryan Quigley now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. He really just stole my catch. Mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. He really just stole my catch. Now the Vikings now heading on to the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shot of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure... I knew that jump was all right. Again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big That's player. That's right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot... Back now at Lambo. This it's is a pass. in possession of the football, but they need some points. They're trailing here to start the fourth. Eddie! Working out of the gun. Cousins incomplete. Blake Martinez, the linebacker, was there in coverage to disrupt. I forced it. When everything is in sync on defense, that means everyone's communicating really well, and sometimes it's nonverbal. They just know that when a receiver is in one spot, this person may have him, and he's in another spot. The next defender may have him. And they squeeze the passing lanes down to where it's so difficult to find an open area to deliver the football. They've made it tough on him all game long. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Desperation time. Cousins on fourth down. And it is incomplete. Mike Zimmer got to be unhappy with how that turned out. And now out comes Minnesota. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them didn't happen also showed confidence in the defense they didn't pick up their end of the bargain so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence to throw his cousins his throw incomplete The Vikings on third down, as bad as you can be. 0 for 7 thus far. This time they face a third and two. Cousins. And unable to 
connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And Diggs has it. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the I don't know how it's not a fumble. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. It doesn't matter the distance. You stop to get it done, as you noted, and they did. That's on me. That's what I have to do with And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Cousins on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. A very solid gain of 27. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made, pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. Been that kind of game throwing the football so far, nothing going right offensively. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Cousins again. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. To the air again, it's Cousins. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Charles, I think we're going to end this stream, guys. See how many levels I got. If I even if I even got a level. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Green Bay, they use the favorable early schedule to their advantage as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Washington Redskins. Guys, see you later.